And welcome back. I'm Dylan Black. We Ads. Uh, Yoga on the Hill is taking place June 14th. What is We Ad? We'll find out about that much more right now. The marketing and social media consultant with Elder Abuse Ontario joins us, Amy Mahan. How are you, Amy? I'm great. Thank great you very much you. for having me on Thank here today. Thank you for being here. And the East Regional Consultant with Elder Abuse Ontario, Stephanie Kadzu, mm -hmm. is with us as well. How are yes, you? Yes, I'm fine. Thanks. Good to have you here. Tell us, uh, Amy, what is We Ad? Because oh. I said that out of the gate. And yeah, are well, you've pronounced it perfectly, Good. so that's wonderful. <laughs> we Ad is World Elder Abuse Awareness Day. And um, it was first denoted by the UN in uh, 2006. Okay. So we're celebrating the 12th year of We Ad. And um, it's a really important um, community awareness event we're putting together of Yoga on the Hill, June okay. 14th. We'll talk about that amazing event yeah. coming up in moments, but uh, Elder Abuse Ontario, Stephanie, how long has your organization been around for? Um, it's been around since uh, 2010. Okay. So, um, a lot, uh, I mean, sorry, 1990. Um, so <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> a little longer than That's I did. Okay. But um, yeah, it's been around for quite a while now, yeah. and we've been really working hard um, partnering with um, different organizations in the community, just building capacity to um, to meet the demand um, for for pe people to to respond, I guess, and intervene in cases of abuse. That okay, occur. so it's amazing that your organization exists. It's also terrible that it has to exist, right? Yeah, so absolutely. Uh, tell us about your mandate. What what are you doing? Well, essentially, we want um, to create an Ontario where seniors live free from harm, um, a place where they can um, keep their dignity intact. Um, and by doing that, um, I think that people are all the better for it. We know that right now the population is aging, so mm -hmm. there's gonna, we're going to see more and more cases of abuse popping up in the near future. And so I think it's really um, incumbent upon us as a society to learn more about the issue, essentially, and uh, know what services are out there to support the seniors who need help. Okay, mm -hmm. and obviously uh, be able to um, uh, spot elder abuse. Yes, so, correct. Uh, yeah. Amy, maybe you can tell us a bit about the different types of elder abuse that exists. Well, let's Stephanie talk about okay, that because that's sure. really her, her sure, mandate. She's yeah. a regional consultant, so yeah, yeah. Um, if she can yeah, elaborate there's, on. There's five main types of abuse that okay. we see. There's physical, sexual, financial, um, negligence as well, um, and psychological being sometimes, um, in my opinion at least, um, the most damaging as well. It causes a lot of distress in seniors in the community, especially since the majority of the time, unfortunately, it's, um, it's family members, it's their kids that are um, taking advantage of their financial situation and, yeah. and just, you know, tailoring things to, to their benefit, I guess. Okay. Yeah. And, and how much of a problem is this? Because you're talking about the, the, the population obviously getting older. I mean, is this a, a very big problem? Yeah, I mean, um, it, it's quite prevalent for sure. Um, about 8% of Canadian seniors are experiencing abuse right now. Mm -hmm. um, it's a fluctuating thing because only about one in five cases of abuse get reported. Um, so we see that um, from one year, you could be, you know, looking at four percent of the population that's abused. Another, it'll be ten. But roughly, we're looking at about seven hundred and sixty thousand Canadians. So it's, it's a big that's number. That's incredible. Yeah. Okay. Uh, terrible. Okay. So Amy, then we've mm -hmm. got this event coming up. We're yeah. trying to raise awareness, obviously, yeah. uh, and we're doing it in the form of yoga. Why yes. Not, right. To get, uh, people active. Everyone and loves. Yeah. Um, <laughs> June is also Seniors Month. Yeah. The theme: uh, Living Your Best Life. So to tie in some more youth intergenerational involvement in this uh, whole We Add event in Elder Abuse Ontario, um, we've reached out to some schools and we have three schools coming from Upper Canada District School Board. Okay. Uh, Pleasant Corners Public School is sending their grade seven and eights as well as Russell High School and um, Rockland High School. Okay. So they're gonna be joining us on the hill June 14th they're being bussed in. So we have about 150 students coming in to participate in the uh, yoga and bring awareness to this really important event. That's wonderful. Yeah. So, sorry, what ages did you mention? Uh, they're grade seven and grade eight. So grade approximately grade eight. 13, 14 years old, yeah. So that's gonna be a lot of fun for them as well. Yeah, and we're all gonna be wearing these t-shirts here. We're all gonna be decked out in the purple t-shirts, yeah. so look for us. And we just wanna invite all the you know community members from Ottawa and surrounding areas really to come out to the hill if you're available and mm -hmm. looking for a fun activity and to 
bring awareness to such, you know, the, the important yeah, uh, we had. So, so you mentioned purple. So is that is that the official color of, of, of elder abuse uh, awareness? It is. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is, so who else then would be coming out to an event like this? I mean, are you do you have like an instructor, someone yeah. like that? Well, we've organ the organizers of um, the Parliament Hill Yoga. We've reached out to them, and they're welcoming our attendance. They reserved uh, places for us at the front of the. Uh, of Parliament Hill, oh, that's nice. and they have their 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 instructors already laid out for the year. So I believe the instructor next week, her name is Tracy uh, Billows. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Yeah. So, <laughs> looking forward to doing her yoga session with her and uh, getting lots of participation with lots of different age groups mm -hmm. and we have um, uh, confirmed um, some dignitaries our executive director Maureen Akin is going to be there from Toronto with us okay. um, greeting the students as well as uh, MPP and hopefully an MP from um, the area. That's wonderful. Yeah. We need to get our mayor Jim Watson out there doing. Well, we've work. invited him, but he's yeah. not. He's not available. But we keep oh. extending the. Yes. We keep extending the offer, even if he can only come and greet us. Eleven thirty <laughs> at uh, Centennial <laughs> Flame. There's the come and meet us. He's a little busy. I'm sure he'll tweet about man. it at least for Please, you. Please, yeah. Uh, he's yeah. a good guy. If people want to get in contact, obviously with um, with Elder Abuse Ontario, if they see the problems. Uh, if you know either within their own family or they see neighbors, how would they get in contact with you? Um, they could obviously look us up online at uh, www.elderabuseontario.com, and there's also a senior safety line that they mm -hmm. can call. Um, you can also contact, um, get a lot of help through 211 Ontario, mm -hmm. and they'll be able to link you up with different uh, services to uh, to help intervene. Some people just need counseling. Sometimes uh, some people will actually need legal help. So. I mean, it's it's a very complex issue, mm -hmm. um, and so two on one Ontario, I think, is is a great place to start. Okay, and Amy, for your yoga on the hill, I mean, do we need to register? Or can we just show up? No, it's um, first come, first serve. Yeah. Um, so the lawn fills up really quickly, so try to get there early, at least 11:45. Yeah. And um, you just bring your mat, bottle of water, co comfy clothes, take off your shoes, and uh, get right down to it. Simple no. as that. June yeah. 14th, Parliament Hill, at uh, from noon to one, roughly, right? Yes, That's exactly. Right. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much for being here today. Well, thanks. For thanks so much us. for having us. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good day.